Sarah Stein Greenberg, Creative Acts for Curious People, How to Think, Create, and Lead in Unconventional Ways, Stanford D. School Library. Welcome to the fascinating world of A Creative Acts for Curious People by Sarah Stein Greenberg. This insightful book offers an unconventional approach to developing creative skills and problem-solving techniques through the Stanford D. School's design mindset. Delving into various aspects of creativity, the book discusses how design involves observation, thinking, feeling, and action. With numerous practical exercises and real-life success stories, get ready to broaden your understanding of creative problem-solving and embrace a new way of thinking, leading, and navigating challenges in an ever-changing world. Unleashing Complete Creative Potential A comprehensive approach to creativity involves not only thinking and observing but also feeling and doing. Stanford University's D. School is devoted to helping its students harness all aspects of their creative abilities in order to solve complex problems. Design is a fusion of learning and problem solving that aims to improve people's lives. By embracing resourcefulness and inventiveness, individuals can navigate an ever changing world and apply their creativity with confidence. Just like a gym goer exercising only one side of their body, Focusing on just one or two skills won't help you maximize your creative potential. In the world of education, the main focus often falls on thinking and observing, with feeling and doing being somewhat neglected. However, a well-rounded creative muscle comes from honing all four skills. This realization has led to the creation of a unique education approach at Stanford University's D. School. Here, students are taught to integrate every aspect of their creative capabilities into the problem-solving process. Design, in this context, is seen as a problem-solving technique involving observation, thinking, feeling, and action. The D. School attracts students from diverse fields such as medicine, education, and philanthropy, all seeking unconventional tools to spark their creativity and cultivate a designer's mindset. Rooted in the inventive thinking of Hungarian painter Laszlo Moholy-Nagy, the school embraces an attitude of resourcefulness and inventiveness, essential when facing modern challenges. In a world constantly adapting to new technologies, climate change, and global crises, environments are continuously shifting. As a result, individuals must relearn their surroundings and redesign their lives to keep up. Creative confidence becomes crucial, whether it's for reshaping a family routine or revamping an entire educational system. Ultimately, all the skills needed for effective creative action, thinking, learning, doing, and feeling, are intertwined. By understanding and strengthening how these abilities intersect, you can unlock your complete creative potential and face challenges head-on. Embrace Improvisation in Design It's common to feel apprehensive when faced with a challenging problem, especially when expertise in the subject matter is lacking. Instead of strictly focusing on solving the problem, consider embracing improvisation, which is at the heart of design. By keeping an open mind and adapting to unexpected situations, you can discover novel solutions and potentially transform a simple class project into a groundbreaking organization, as demonstrated by a group of graduate students who founded Neura Health. When confronted with a problem, excitement and nervousness often coexist. Realizing that design is centered around improvisation can help alleviate these challenging emotions. The primary takeaway is that maintaining an unwavering focus on the problem at hand may not always yield the best results. A real-life example of this concept involves four graduate students from the D. School who were tasked with a project to improve patient flow at a hospital in Bangalore, India. Upon arriving in India, they discovered a miscommunication about their arrival time, leaving them to wait in the hospital without anyone to greet them. Instead of dwelling on the issue, they observed the environment and interviewed family members of patients, discovering that the main concern was anxiety about caring for their discharged loved ones. Although this issue didn't align perfectly with their assigned task of improving administrative efficiency, the students embraced the design principle of problem-finding. They shifted their focus and eventually devised a solution involving dramatized training videos for family members. 
This effort was so successful that it evolved into an actual health organization called Neura Health, which has trained over a million people to date. Regardless of expertise or the problem's complexity, keeping an open mind and adapting to unforeseen circumstances can result in more significant opportunities than initially imagined. By embracing improvisation in design, challenges can transform into innovative discoveries. Mastering observation through patience. In the fast-paced modern world, it's easy to overlook our surroundings. Enhancing observation skills requires cultivating patience, which can be honed through a three-hour exercise called tether. By tethering oneself to a single spot, focusing on the present moment, and resisting distractions, we can sharpen our ability to notice details and apply these insights to our creative pursuits. Imagine being aboard a high-speed train, the world reduced to a blur outside the window. As the train decelerates, the surroundings gradually come into focus. This analogy serves to illustrate how speed and distractions can cloud our perception of the world. To gain the clarity vital for good design, it's necessary to slow down and cultivate patience, which in turn improves our observation skills. Developing your observational abilities takes practice, one valuable method is the tether exercise. Allocate three uninterrupted hours for this task, gather a pen and notebook, and choose a location that suits your preferences, be it a bustling mall, a serene museum, or a secluded cafe. Once situated, switch off your phone and remain unconnected from external distractions, committing fully to the present moment. During the next three hours, anchor yourself in the chosen spot and document every detail observed. Initially, expect a surge of enthusiasm, followed by the near-inevitable temptation to surrender to distraction. Cultivate patience by focusing on your writing and resisting diversions. Having surpassed this hurdle, you'll start perceiving your surroundings anew. People's movements, the space they leave behind, and the ambient soundscape will provide ample material for sharpening your observational skills. Upon completing the tether exercise, study your notes and assess the relationship between patience and the quality of your observations. Reflect on how the insights gained can contribute to your creative endeavors. In this way, patience emerges as an essential tool for enriching both observation skills and creative output. Uncover creative insights. During your research and data analysis, broaden your focus to capture unique findings and challenge pre-existing assumptions. Use an unpacking exercise to uncover unexplored connections and develop innovative solutions. Just like retaining memories and impressions from a vacation, data collection during a project serves as an opportunity to reflect on the gathered information. To unveil hidden gems of creativity, move past conventional thoughts and focus on personal observations. Expand your research focus during data analysis. After gathering data, utilize an unpacking exercise to extract distinctive and crucial findings. Begin by reviewing the overall research, pinpointing compelling quotes, surprising events, or innovative solutions. Write each highlight on a separate card or small piece of paper. Using a larger board, elaborate on each highlight, addressing the following questions. Why is this highlight interesting? What does it reveal about a person's values or needs? How does it relate to other issues? Consider the example of education entrepreneur Jill Violet, who led an organization providing coaches to public schools for help with conflict resolution and leadership during recess. When Violet discovered that schools were hiring her coaches as substitute teachers, she embarked on a thorough investigation. By conducting interviews and employing the unpacking exercise, Violet exposed the underlying issue, substitutes were often called during last-minute emergencies with inadequate training. This realization led her to create a pack of emergency training materials for substitutes to efficiently handle short-notice situations. Allocate three to four times more time for unpacking observations than collecting them. Breaking down the research will unveil interconnected issues that can be addressed. As you explore solutions, remember to break those down as well to foster further innovation. Unveiling layers of design. To fully comprehend the scope and impact of a design project, it's essential to break down its various layers and explore the intricate connections between them. 
This method enables a deeper understanding of the project's significance and allows for more informed decisions throughout the design process. Smartphones are more than just tangible products, they encompass invisible operating systems, layers of data management, and their impact on society, such as causing digital fatigue. This notion of multiple layers forms the foundation of design projects as taught by the D.Dot School. By dissecting a project's layers, you can enhance abstract conceptualization and reveal connections between smaller informational pieces and the broader subject matter. To adopt a design mindset, consider the project's wide-ranging implications instead of merely solving its core problem. To effectively visualize these layers, choose any inspiring topic and create a six-section circle. These six layers will represent various aspects of your chosen topic. 1. Implications Note your observations regarding societal shifts and phenomena related to your topic. 2. Systems Identify other connected systems and their associated challenges. 3. Experiences Ponder potential improvements to human experiences around the issue. 4. Products List existing and possible products connected to the subject. 5. Technologies Acknowledge existing technologies and recognize gaps that need filling. 6. Data Record the types of data accessible around the topic. You may begin with any category, but the priority is to analyze each layer thoroughly. This exercise offers a comprehensive understanding of your project's impact and guides informed decision making throughout the design process. Embrace active experimentation. Remember how toddlers constantly engage in little experiments. Channel that curiosity for better creativity. Try the D.Schools Monsoon Challenge to get a feel for problem solving and collaboration before tackling a big project. Set up a timed competition to design devices for catching water, then reflect on the winning strategies and apply them to future projects. Unleashing your inner toddler might just unlock your creative potential. You might recall how young children constantly conduct experiments, knocking over bowls, exploring gravity, and testing their own capability. While this may appear messy, it's the very core of active learning. As we grow up, we tend to lose this experimental spirit, but reigniting it can be invaluable for creativity. How can we rediscover this sense of active experimentation? One approach is the monsoon challenge from Stanford's D. Dot School. Originally designed to aid water collection in resource-poor settings, this exercise encourages you to engage in problem-solving and collaboration, benefiting your overall creative process. To begin the challenge, form groups and allocate a budget in a predetermined number of days for each team to create a device designed to catch sprinkler water for a five-minute interval. Tailor the conditions and scale the experiment according to your resources, time, and group size. Next, set up a competition in an open space such as a parking lot or field. Establish judging criteria and a method to measure the water collected. Allow time for each team to prepare their devices and test them, using a hose and sprinkler atop a ladder to simulate the monsoon. Time and record each team's water collection. Once all the teams complete the challenge, declare a winner and discuss the reasons behind their success. Delve into the strategies and collaborations that led to the most effective prototypes. Reflect on how these methods can be applied to future projects, enriching the creative process, and driving innovation. For those preferring a solo challenge, create different prototypes on your own and gauge their effectiveness. By engaging in active experimentation, you develop a deeper understanding of upcoming challenges, preparing yourself to address them creatively and effectively. Fostering trust for team success. Building trust and connection within a team is vital in creating a psychologically safe environment that encourages creativity. Use a sequence of engaging warm-up activities to foster teamwork and trust while promoting a sense of community. This allows team members to comfortably share their unique skills and perspectives and achieve excellent results together. In any group setting, self-confidence can be shaken if one's ideas are dismissed or undervalued. This fear of rejection and judgment often leads to creative inhibition. On the other hand, a collaborative atmosphere where everyone feels comfortable sharing their thoughts and ideas can lead to extraordinary outcomes. 
The key to unlocking this cooperative synergy lies in creating trust and connection within the team through warm-up sequences. When initiating a team, it is crucial to establish psychological safety and trust. Start by incorporating a collection of warm-up exercises to build rapport among team members. The first activity involves pairing up with a new teammate and telling the story behind one's name. This exercise encourages bonding through sharing personal anecdotes about the origins, meanings, or humorous mispronunciations of their names. Following that, move on to a fun-filled group exercise called Zombie Apocalypse Prep. In this activity, the initial pairs combine to form quartets. The goal is for each member to discuss their potential contributions to a team during a hypothetical zombie apocalypse. This light-hearted exercise allows teammates to learn about one another's skills outside of their professional expertise. Lastly, continuing with the same quartet, shift the focus to personal aspirations and legacies. Encourage individual reflection on how they want to be perceived and the long-lasting impact they wish to create. This open-ended prompt triggers innovative responses and promotes a deeper understanding of one another's personal motivations. By engaging in these warm-up activities, teams foster disclosure, intimacy, and a sense of community without making it awkward for new acquaintances. Such an environment cultivates fruitful collaboration and teamwork, while also revealing personal motivations and showcasing how each team member's unique traits contribute to the collective. Embracing Productive Struggle Embarking on a creative project often starts with excitement, but it's normal for self-doubt and boredom to creep in, causing what the author calls, productive struggle. Embracing this struggle is crucial, as breakthroughs typically follow these low moments. By adjusting your environment and understanding your reactions to different circumstances, you can foster creativity within yourself and those around you. When you start a new creative project, it's natural to be filled with excitement and motivation. However, as you progress, you may hit a wall of self-doubt and boredom, making the creative work feel mundane. This challenging phase is what the author refers to as the productive struggle, an essential part of the creative process. Contrary to what you might think, experiencing discomfort can actually benefit your creative ability in the long run. The productive struggle often precedes a creative breakthrough. At Stanford's D.Dot School, it's common practice to explore emotions since they are integral to the creative process. Throughout your life, as you build your creative skills, you will encounter a range of emotions, both positive and negative. When facing moments of productive struggle, the typical reaction is to surrender and claim the task is too hard. However, this challenging stage is usually when the breakthroughs happen. True challenges push you to work harder than ever before. If you persevere through the struggle, you are more likely to achieve a breakthrough, which is one of the most exhilarating experiences during any creative process. Interestingly, these lows tend to occur just before the most rewarding highs. One way to enhance this creative journey is by adjusting your environmental triggers. By deliberately manipulating your interpersonal or physical surroundings, you can establish perfect conditions for creativity, balancing play and struggle. For example, you could remove chairs to ensure your team's attention or meditate for a minute before starting work. Understanding how you respond to specific conditions allows you to set the stage for your personal creativity and inspire those around you. Embrace the productive struggle, and watch your creativity soar to new heights. As we wrap up our journey through creative acts for curious people, we have discovered the power of the design mindset and its transformative potential. Design is a multifaceted, problem-solving approach encompassing observation, thought, feeling, and action. We have learned to embrace uncertainty, develop observation skills, analyze data, understand complex contexts, and actively experiment. Additionally, fostering trust and psychological safety within teams proves crucial for creative collaboration. Embracing productive struggle is imperative for breaking through barriers and achieving innovation. Armed with these insights and practical exercises, Embark on your own creative endeavors with confidence and determination in an increasingly complex world.